Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome for a first look at the Blight League in Path of Exile. You can see it is pretty busy and I must say I have been having a lot of fun uh, playing this league in Path of Exile so far. Especially because one of the rebalances is to the minion playstyle which is one that I absolutely love. And so that's why I made this switch, uh, Necromancer, and it's been going amazingly well. Although I have also died a couple of times, so this is... Uh, not in a hardcore league and this is the trade league and uh, yeah the reason is I am going very very glass cannony everything goes towards my minions and their damage and I need to work on my gear basically uh, to become a little bit stronger so let's take maybe a quick look at what I've been doing uh, here especially on the ascendancy oh, maybe first I'll start with um, with my level I am level 69 at this point after 13 to 14 hours of playing. So yeah, I have been uh, doing my best, you could say. I've just been enjoying uh, playing through this again with, with this all-powerful witch. And uh, it's been going really nicely. So for my ascendancy, of course, take Necromancer. Then here I took Mindless Aggression just because of the extra movement speed, damage, attack speed and cost speed. Yeah, it does help a lot, of course. And after that, I chose a natural strength plus two to level uh, of all minion skill gems I think across the board that's pretty nice now over here if I'm not mistaken uh, let's see this one yeah bone armor skill at physical damage reduction I think this can be like a tanky part of the build or we could go over here of course and then with an aura we could get even more damage from my minions which has been amazing so far uh, basically any boss that doesn't have mechanics uh, at certain points in their HP they just melt away like like crazy so it's, it's been a lot of fun um, uh, on my gear, what I do like is that this Queen's Decree has dropped, plus one uh, zombie, plus one spectre, plus one skeleton. Very nice, of course, when you're going for like as big an army as possible, which is what I'm doing. And then, of course, also 30% increased damage for my minions. I think that's pretty huge. Here we have the Ray Zombie, not, not great in the gems. That's also obviously something that I need to work on. But over here, for instance, completely unbonused uh, Carrion Golem incredible uh, addition uh, one of the changes then here we've got ray specter over here we've got summon skeleton that's actually on a totem but uh, i'll show you what it does in a moment and a summon raging spirit is what i just use uh, when i have the time over here we've got a frost blink and a discipline aura just to give me at least some more hp at this point so let's take this uh, this puppy out for a spin and let's uh, try to show you guys what uh, this is uh, looking like for this full army uh, uh, necromancer build here so let's just go straight to the vastiri desert i'm not gonna go after like any specific uh, objectives or anything like that and uh, what i like i just logged in uh, you do keep your specters apparently and so here i like these three i actually wanted four of them uh, but uh, it just didn't work out so i took another ranged one uh, for now these guys are great just because look at that they just demolish everything so that gives me the option now to raise some zombies i think i can go up to nine at this point so let's get a little bit of mana and let's do that yeah that should be nine let's do one more exactly Obviously, we want to raise our golem as well, giving physical damage uh, to all of my minions. And then just look at them demolish blue mobs. <laughs> and these sunbeams just completely obliterating everything. Here's a rare. He's a rare. He's gone. <laughs> He's just completely gone. And then on top of that, of course, I can add uh, my, my little skulls, uh, which is on a faster casting uh, bonus. So I can just you know get like half a dozen of them out in no in no time and they do a lot of damage and then what i really like is i put down this totem they summon these burning skeletons and actually uh gave these guys one of the new let's see if i can show it here one of the new um support gems infernal legion support minions uh, su uh, s uh take damage uh, over time but they also have like an area around them where they uh, do fire damage to anything close to them and I think that that is perfect for and this is actually the entrance so we're gonna try and follow this path for uh, something on a totem because the totem will automatically refresh what's available I can go up to 11 skeletons I think it's like four costs and then you can see here the totem is just gonna keep refreshing that even when they die uh, when basically they consume their life you can see them go down here uh, they just get replenished because as long as I've got a totem up it's gonna try to keep it up to 11 uh, as long as there's something in range of course and so you can see 
why I've been able to uh, actually level up decently, efficiently. Uh, it's because it just melts everything on its path, especially with these specters at this point. Just look at that, it's kind of crazy. And if something is a little tougher, so that's mostly just because of the aura there, you know, I can just, you know, plunk down a totem and then add some of my skulls. And we've got a massive army on top of that. One of them, uh, I do use it. I like it. The more minions on the board, the more I like it. So I also do raise specters on hit and on kill. Uh, no, it's not specters. Uh, what is it called? Let's see if I can actually find it. Phantasm. Uh, the summon phantasm support. And so this, I can't do that just yet, but yeah, this is, this is basically, I think, pretty much the strongest char character so far that I have made, because um, it just burns through everything, look at that, just melted down uh, super, super quickly. So is this the objective? I think so. Let's plunk down, look at these, these skeletons being, I think it's now even up to four at a time. And here we've got this chest, let's call that up. And uh, yeah, let's just let my minions do, add some skulls in the mix. And then you can see now that my my army dominates the field. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have my hands on the keyboard now. And there's a Stormblade. Was there a tougher boss in there? I don't know. But if they don't have phases, this just gets melted down. Now, I am really weak, right? Only like 2500 HP. My resistances are not up to snuff. So I did die a couple times to like trapped... Uh, chests and to the Brian King uh, basically for for hardcore the Brian King is a little bit of a, a tank test because in its final phase there's, there's practically no way to avoid taking the brunt of the damage um, but uh, of course that's why I chose uh, this type of build in a non hardcore league so I could actually afford to do that uh, next up here let's take a look at the league mechanic of course this is uh, the new league and we want to take a first look at that so it's a big part of it I personally um, I like it especially early on it was quite nice it's a lot of XP it's why I'm able to stay ahead in XP by quite a lot on the content and, and just basically blast through everything uh, but it also has maybe a slight grindy um, aspect to it. Perhaps even this wait time now, you have 20 seconds to wait up uh, to, to get ready. And so they'll come from here, follow this path. And I'll just, I like, I think the, the Frost Totem is definitely one of the strongest one. Upgrade that to three and it'll do a lot of damage. Um, and uh, there we go, of course, my minions. This minion build is pretty strong because they're just adding that much more damage now this one is away from everything so what i like to do here is just plonk down my totem maybe support it a little bit with an extra tower but uh, those skeletons are going to keep that spawn point completely under control all by themselves burn everything down and i don't really have to do anything so i can just go back refresh my totem give that a bit of an upgrade go back up here and just wreck everything and then you know, it's it's a bit of tower defense, but it doesn't feel like it's that complex or that difficult. And you get decent amounts of XP uh, from all of this. Down here, you can see the durability of the pump and then uh, the number of nodes that uh, are active. This one is of three. You get a little bit of loot at the pump itself. And then, of course, here, potentially, you can have some nice uh, loot from that, including from time to time, uniques as well. Uh, I think my sword dropped from one of these as well. So that's been taken care of. Let's continue a little bit more. There's another rare up there. So my main task at this point is basically just to avoid taking big damage hits uh, on, on my current build. Maybe uh, some of you guys might want to take a quick look at what I did with the... Um, see what's happening back here in the meantime. That all looks okay. Yeah, this just... Gets, gets completely wrecked and I love these big, uh, I'm not sure what to call them, uh, but uh, these sunbeam guys are pretty awesome. So of course we started here with the witch and uh, you'll notice this is probably far from optimal, but if you want damage, like what you're seeing, this is pretty good. Obviously up here we've got minion damage. Then over here, I actually took that a little bit later, we went up here for more minion stuff, then down here for this minion node and... Uh, then all the way up here, big minion node back here, follow this path, a little bit of life finally, then we went over here, really big minion node, these, um, that's for later basically, I felt like, eh, not sure what to do, then we went down here, again uh, also, minions have a 5% chance to do a double damage attack, that's 
kind of crazy, I think, especially when you get this many of them. Then over here, uh, which one was it? Um, yeah, 15% increased damage and uh, also maybe increase and reductions to minion damage also affect you so that could be pretty strong and over here is it the one that i'm working on yeah minions have a 10 percent chance to gain onslaught for four seconds on kill and then there's somewhere else also something that uh they get a damage boost after i use uh, a minion skill for four seconds so this is you can really basically go nothing but minions like this just look at the size of my army uh, look at all of these little phantasms that come in as well they have a piercing attack so they really wreck face on groups as well and uh, if i want to i can just walk around here have my guys do their thing and not have to and this is what i get i'll be a little careful of some of those big explosions that can be a problem um, but yeah, I think you can you can tell how fun this is actually uh, you just walk around get some cool specters They demolish everything uh, your your um, uh, Zombies actually super important as well for the early game They get like an aoe attack right off the bat So my early game with this switch was a lot simpler a lot smoother and faster than before this league uh, that was very very pleasant uh, to do as well um, and and I love to have these these skeletons oh I sh can actually just follow this because we had this, that pathway before uh, but yeah I just love having those skeletons be be summoned by a totem so it's away from me uh, they're pretty aggressive they go look for enemies basically at an almost unlimited range I think if it's, there's really a lot of density they'll just keep going until their life is burned out um, and and then you know that totem will just keep refreshing them get those 11 uh, skeletons up without you really having to do uh, too much micromanagement you can focus on just getting extra skulls up or avoiding the damage when you have the chance and that is not what I have to do oh I have to probably deliver this in town yeah I basically rushed through all of this myself let's take a quick look at what's happening here that, you know, I, I really want to focus on immunity. So this is for freeze, poison, ignite and instant recovery. I mean, it saved my butt a few times. We could take the freezing one um, because I have increased my resistances with a little bit of enchanting. Oof, 24 cold resists. The rest, uh, not that great. So I'm basically going to keep that one with the cold uh, resistance. It could basically be one that I want to use later on. And here we have another one with immunity to shock. Going to put that one here. And this one does immunity to bleeding. It's actually pretty important overall. Oh, Let's uh, see what she has to say. Okay. Um, yeah, this is something that I'll probably change. I think I'll, I still want a shield. You know, I need more tank. But for now, this sword is amazing to increase the number of... Um, of means I can have, maybe I should have grabbed the shield there, but this is what I needed, and then we can basically sell this stuff here and go like that. Uh, I feel like the leak mechanic itself is very generous with uh, materials, materials so far. It's really a decent amount of them that dropped, and I actually spent it a little bit too much on my queen's decree uh, but i'm still at 42 jewels or 31 or fusion and 129 chromatic orb so i feel like i am making good progress there and yeah i bought stashes to support the game it's it's amazing and the replayability with all these leaks is quite amazing as well and let's see if that unlocks this part or not yep there we go we can now go to the oasis and uh, let's show you guys a little bit more. So when you just enter a map, and I, I'm not summoning anything extra. Let's see those blue guys. <laughs> They're just gone. And here's a rare as well. Just gets completely decimated. And uh, this is basically my army at probably 30% strength or something like that. Because uh, I can drop this totem, get extra. And this is the Forbidden Vault. Is that the, the boss chain thing already oh no that's oh that's with her yeah i don't think i'm i'm basically i haven't done any of uh, mechanics of of that old leak so i don't think that um i should focus on that but uh, yeah how i tend to play it is of course go a little bit more aggressive a little faster uh keep the totem coming so that these guys can burn everything down and then my job is to avoid the damage blink around a little bit more and then just wreck as much as i can 
grab the loot that I notice. And then over here we get the leak mechanic. That's pretty nice. Go, oops. And, and here you can see, obviously, my tank is not very uh, good at this point. I need to improve that a lot. But for now, there's, there's stuff that I need to do because my minions can become even stronger. Then we get the mechanic. It's actually decently important to look at the pathway um, over here. So they, they basically stick to that. So this one always makes sense, I think. Um, but it is entirely possible that the branches will then go in the opposite direction as well. Those are a bit tougher to do. Um, but uh, thanks to thanks to the, the skeleton totem, uh, there are really no worries at the moment for me. I think I failed one or two early on because I wasn't paying attention. And since then, uh, we've been fine uh, with this mechanic. So here's more of them. Just plonk this down here and then you'll see <laughs> my skeletons come in. They just wreck everything. Uh, yeah, freezing I felt uh, was super handy. I like fireball as well. It does become a decently powerful AoE. Uh, after a while, the others, yeah, I don't use them that much. I think you can tell why. So there's the fireballs that fly off. They're pretty strong as well. Let's refresh this. And uh, yeah, the skeletons, they have been doing amazing, amazing work in my opinion. I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, if this, if this playstyle was this strong before, I think I would have preferred this over the totem playstyle that I've always gone for. Uh, but this is very, very satisfying to me. So let's just maybe go a little bit further and see if we can find the, the scorpion-like boss. Could be a good challenge for us, especially... Ah, it does have phases. That's a bit annoying, of course. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, there should be a pathway to him here. Look at these rares. Pretty big, so normally they've got a decent amount of HP. Yeah, those sunbeams. Uh, that's at least what I'm calling them. Um, that feels good. And especially when you can have like four specters like this. And, I, and this is not even the most powerful option uh, at all. A strong melee option can be great too, I think. They do need to be fast because I have boots that increase my, uh, my travel speeds by quite a bit. And then just yeah, avoid getting wrecked yourself, of course. That is somewhat important, but uh, just look at that. They came in, couple of beams, they were gone. That's super nice. This feels, this feels super, super good. Here's another rare, so just plunk down your totem. Yeah, you can bring in reinforcements if you want to, but my army is getting pretty big. <laughs> like this, uh, this is really nice. Let's see if I can if I can find like an entrance or something. There should be something. The, the sand pit. I think that's right. Uh, so I think that that could be a good challenge for this. Um, and again, we'll probably see my lack of uh, of tank show some real problems. Ah, there it is. So this time I will have to move around a little bit and. Um, on phases, right, they can uh, escape this a bit, and that's what I gotta be careful of. Let's see, will it just keep doing that? Yeah, okay, so so far, this is... Can, how do you escape it? Yeah, just get out of line. Oh, it, it does seem to aim at me. And Okay, so this is the weakness of... Uh, this build so far. Bosses with big AoE mechanics that cannot be uh, avoided. They will happen no matter what. Like the Brian King. Well, I don't have the tank to just, you know, push through that without uh, without trouble. Um, but some of the others, man, they just melt away. So I, I'm hoping that we can see a good meltdown of this Scorpion boss. Um... In the second part of the fight. Okay, still avoiding this decently well. And this feels like a pretty good progression, uh, progression to these uh, swallowing pits. And then let's see how quickly... Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Already down to a, ter to a third. Uh, now getting aggressive and there we go. Exactly what I want to show you guys. Uh, the disadvantage of this, this super... Um, this uh, oops should put this up for more HP. Uh, of this uh, glass cannony build, everything is focused on giving my uh, my minions more damage. 
gone in no time. But when there's these big mechanics, well, I die from time to time, like what you saw here. Still, I feel like I'm making really good progress. And then uh, I just need a couple more points and then I'll be able to uh, to focus on getting tankier after that. What does this one have? Uh, reduce chaos damage taken. Okay, while well, on caustic grounds. Well, probably not for me just yet, but let's go back to Highgate. And uh, let's see if there's any rewards for us to pick up. If we could get another point like that. Perfect. Hello. Uh, so then I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more of what I mean when it comes to the build that I've done and what I want to do. And is that all? Yeah, that is apparently all. Okay, lucky me. So let's grab that point. And so right now, yeah, we get this, of course. 20% movement speed, 20% damage. 5% increase attack and cast speed and 10% chance to gain all slots for 4 seconds now on all my minions. So we can just get rid of that one uh, for the zombies, I think it is. Um, but here, if I press this, is basically what I chose. We just went for minion and you can see now that outside of these, which is for like really tanky stuff, I've got everything uh, and I've got everything except these two that give damage. And so what I'm definitely gonna take is this one mind over matter so that my uh, mana pool basically becomes an hp pool as well at least partly and then just focus on stuff that helps me with tankiness a little bit of uh, energy shield as much life as i can still muster uh, that's basically the plan after that and then of course in my gear it's the exact same thing because it is lagging behind since i am rushing through the content diesel quickly uh, as you saw uh, from uh, from this first look video, but this is in my opinion a great league. The mechanic is simple enough that uh, that it, uh, it's not too bothersome, um, and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Path of Exile is a great game and it's nice to see one of my favorite playstyles, the Minion playstyle, get this update. It feels super, super powerful. Very, very fun to play. So that's it for this first look video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.